Hello everybody, this is Jennifer. Thank you so much for popping by my channel. Today I have the rest of that HSN haul. I'm telling you, I don't know what happened to me. I just kind of like lost my mind and I bought more than I thought I would, especially the Anna Griffin stuff. So I'm going to show you because some of it was like crazy good prices. So jumping right in, the 3D Barack frames. Baroque, am I saying that right? Um, many of you probably already have this. I think it was like $15. I think this is just so pretty. I've been looking at it forever. It is four five by seven card, but look at the size of that. It's like six and a half. So isn't that great? I'm going to show you it cut out and here are some of the samples, but you know, these are the ones that are normally like 30, $40, something crazy. Um, and I just tried it out. I had to, am I getting it in the picture? Had to try it out. It's got multiple layers. I didn't want to glue it down yet because I just got, um, one millimeter thick, uh, strips, a whole huge roll from Altenew and that foam tape it, because it's thinner, I think, you know, it might work a little bit better going through the mail and things like that. So here are the layers just to try and get this on here. This one's not really cooperating, but I didn't want to glue it down just yet because I'm not sure on um, what card. And this was just, this is Anna Griffin, the pale purple from the antique. And the dark purple is just um, cheap. I don't know, Hobby Lobby, Michaels, wherever I got it from. But I just thought dark purple, light purple. It actually, it makes me think Halloween <laughs> when I see it like this. But it's really pretty. So I'm hoping you can see all those details. And I just wanted to try it out because it's gorgeous. Okay, so let me just, I'll just stick this in here. We'll set that aside for another day to play with and easy turn that into a car. Okay. Next is, I did not cut these out, but I was so happy to get these. The um, layered rose dyes. So, obviously, you could see, again, these were, I think it was $16 and a few cents. Two sets of the leaves, and then the three layers of the pretty rose petals. Let me just show you real quick. Um, these were on some of the stuff that was going on clearance, and I thought the sales were really good. This wasn't... They had their secret sale, but the secret sale wasn't, you know, it wasn't the, like I said before, it wasn't the 50, 75% off. But look at how gorgeous, look at that. So, what is, what is, is it, Anna says that painting with paper? But I just thought those were so pretty. So, I was excited. And I think, God, I could swear I just bought in the super sale. If any of you were on the super sale, oh my gosh. I'll tell you what. <laughs> I'm waiting for that delivery to come in because Anna Supercell, I did, I bought anything I didn't have and that was like the other layered flowers with this. So again, that was another really good um, deal. Here's one of the deals that wasn't, <laughs> it came out, definitely not what I would say an affordable deal, but I wanted these. So I think this was like $60. Somebody can correct me if you want. But it's the bundle, they had it like a double set. So first you had the mini inside pocket dies. And I was just like, oh, I love doing like the little mini albums. So you can see the three different kinds of pockets you can make. And that's those here. So, and they're, I mean, they're really nice size. So let me just show you. I had to, of course, cut these out. You just fold that back. See the little tabs here? And it's two sets, not just these. There's another set too. Glue, glue that part on, and then you can slide everything in it. So we had one of these, that one. Let's see. Here was our second one, and they are thinking the actual pocket part is just over four inches, and this is like two and a quarter. So that would be for that one, isn't it? I mean, oh my gosh, they're so gorgeous. And where's my third one here? Uh, let's see. Did I cut out two the same? I feel like, I, oh, that's this one. That's why I'm like, how did I miss one? Oh, I'm, okay, sorry, that was this one here, right. And here's our third one. Look at that. So again, you would just, I hate doing this without a scoring tool here. I'm not going to do it. Um, but you just fold these over. So this is them, and I used some of Anna's, just her paper, so you could see it. But they'll pop it up, and they are just lovely. This one's obviously the deepest and that's still only not quite two and a half so just about but that was set one that came in this bundle set two oh my gosh these 
just pretty and these were bigger than I thought corner pocket dies so I'll just show you the pretty kind of pictures that they show here here how you can fold it to be you know like the little what is you call it tussy mussy flower holders that kind of thing you can see them all there we've got so three big I mean look at the size of that die I was I was surprised by how large these were okay that's bigger than my hand so I was really pleased to see that and I of course I'm thinking since I do scrapbooks too how gorgeous is that so here's the first one which is your rose one again the inside the pocket part itself is four and five eighths by probably I'm guessing the same no four and a half okay I don't know why but they cut out like a dream it's beautiful I love it um, here is let's see so that's the rose one this one look at the size of this and look see it just bent that oh that makes me sad I have to find a way to uncrease that one little piece but isn't that gorgeous I used her again you know her regular metallics this is all from the autumn pack because that's what I had sitting or the was it autumn antique antique pack because that's what was sitting there so edge to edge just over five inches I'm guessing this will probably be about the same just about five and a quarter and five so beautiful beautiful love it huge I mean that's huge to put on that's pretty much your whole page if you wanted to do your five by seven album to put your pictures in there or your scrapbook albums mini albums however you want to do that and the last one again so pretty let's put these this is my other crazy thing I had to of course get and this one's the the teeny the baby of it with the, if you can see the little flowers can you see that so it's like a trellis and little flowers embossed there love it so three and three quarters by I'm gonna guess I swear that's three and a half so they're not the same <laughs> one, okay three and a half by three and three quarters but so either way however you want to do it but the little flowers so very pretty and yeah I just I had to have it I just had to have it I and I kept waiting deciding and I'm telling you I think I bought this at like 11:30 at night and I just thought oh forget it I'm just gonna get it because if I don't and I wait around it sells out then I'll be kicking myself okay so let's see what else I probably I also got oh my gosh I have enough tissue paper from all of how Anna does her pretty things I'm telling you to last me for all the holidays <laughs> this is the this is the one that is she you could get it on her website or on HSN the simply birthday easel card making kit so I thought this 10 cards yeah there we go so let's I haven't even opened it yet um, there's a couple of them I will do videos on these like as I make the cards because I mean these kind this is so easy so easy I'm just gonna show you the pictures real quick because if I pull everything out we'll be here all day but I'll do a video where we just I was gonna say slap these together but assemble them nicely so if you look I mean they are just really really pretty even more on the back so you can see tell me that is not an easy gorgeous way to do something quick quickly sorry that's gonna drive me nuts with that so you can see all the pieces we've got your envelopes so many so many flowers all the beautiful sentiments here's the actually pre-done pre-cut shaped easel part the backing the layers the bows the stickers I love it so anyway but this was I think $34 oh even the adhesive little adhesive squares and you can do the auto ship I um, you can do auto ship on HSN if you do it on HSN you are able to skip them if you do it on Anna's site which she is now starting to offer auto ship you cannot skip them if you cancel you're out so that is just something to be aware of but I believe the prices were the same okay so let me put that back and yes we'll be putting them together in the very near future with glee this was another one that was on one of the really good deals and this was the Beauregard's um, collage card toppers and I think they were like $9 for the set. 
And if you have, you know, we all complain about having to make cards for the men. This is a really good one for the guys. It's funny. They're snarky. I will show you. So, um, this is funny. Hope your day is amazing and fun as possible. On your birthday, you're not getting old. You're already there. Birthdays are good for you. The more you have, the longer you live. Um, I'm, I'm yours. No refunds. Happy anniversary. <laughs> it's funny. I love you. You're just the right amount of inappropriate. I mean, they're just cute and they're snarky little sentiments on there. I'm trying to think how many were on there. 24 sentiment stickers, 48 of the die cut, cardstock die cut. So let's just look at these quickly because I think they're cute. And if you can get them for the men, I just think, why, why wouldn't you? Like this to me is something that makes it simple. So your well-behaved men real, rarely make history. Right? Isn't that funny? There is no gnomebody like you. Our gnomes. Uh, here. Serving wishes of congratulation with the side of jealousy. Didn't you just have a birthday last year? Thou art a year older. Wiser is yet to be determined. Oh my God. See, I like that. These are so funny. Don't skate through life. Dance through it wearing really nice shoes. I feel like I should get another set of these because men's cards are always tough. You aren't old, just a vintage classic. Breaking news. You are officially old. Um, you're great, but no need to get a big head about it. Let's see the car one. It's been a while since you came off the production line. Happy birthday. Next year you'll be even older. These are so funny. You're the best thing since sliced bread. Oh my gosh. I remember your birthday. You're welcome. Uh, see, congrats on being born a really long time ago. Happy birthday, sir. You are one dapper dude. I'm sorry I called you old. I thought you knew. <laughs> That's cute. It's your birthday. Will you accept this, Rose? Oh my gosh. You are amazing. Trust me, I'm incapable of faking sincerity. Uh, it's your birthday again. We are loving that journey for you. Okay. It's your birthday. We ride at dawn. That's cute. Uh, so, on our anniversary, be grateful. You'll never find somebody better than me. Oh my gosh. That is going to my husband for sure. For sure. Let's celebrate without making a spectacle of ourselves again. Seems like too much. Hear ye, hear ye. My friend is really old. <laughs> so these aren't even really just all for men. And here, this card is for my best friend in the whole wide world. And that pretty little puppy. So, that. There we go with that one. Let me just. Okay. Next one is the Christmas pitch. Oh my gosh. I did want this. And the only reason I didn't get it before is because it was too much money. <laughs> it was like $60 and I think now they brought it down to 36 so I thought we I would show you in case it comes up again so 24 the 12 by 12 24 5 by 7 90 embellishments 24 sentiments let's take a quick look at so two are they single no they're even double-sided how nice is that really thick beautiful these are matte um I don't know that there's going to be any foil I don't think so I don't recall that so here we have it in green with holly on the back. Beautiful. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Isn't that great? Same thing again. Every time I get a kit like this, I say, why didn't I just automatically buy two? Because then I go around scrounging around waiting to see if they bring it back, have it on sale again, that kind of thing. Love it. Look at that. That's like the perfect Santa. The stripes. Here we have them in blue beautiful the snowflakes okay so two of each of these ah oh, love that that is so retro look at that very cute same thing oh there we go so we do have some foil that is gorgeous okay sorry this side's losing out to this side for sure that is beautiful what else do we have here okay we've got kind of that nordic looking or applique looking quilt looking whatever you want to call it i love these kind of stars oh look at that oh my gosh heart be still there we go there we go with our pretty holly and berries 
same thing with our greens and that's it okay so there we go let's just flip that all back down and then these should be i think let me see yeah these are gonna all be the same as the other ones okay so and the five by sevens also but look at how cute this is these sentiments and embellishments are what really got me so for 36 dollars, i just thought that was a crazy good deal okay tis the season to be jolly December to remember, peace on earth. And it's just cute how, you know, exactly what she's saying. Retro, the kitsch, happy Christmas, wishing you Christmas cheer. Look at that, with the same matching little um, tree on it. Just to see, to be jolly, what else have we got here? Merry Christmas, wishing you joy. So you pretty much, and then, you know, doubles up on most of these. Joyful holiday wishes, okay, so we'll leave that there these look at how many are in this this is it's packed it's packed packed i think it said 90 right 90 so i don't know if we're gonna be able to maybe here if i do it this way we can maybe see it a little better as i just kind of pull them out so obviously we have candy canes foiled ornaments look at these oh my gosh Ooh, swirlies we have swirlies coming up presents wreaths bells i wish there would be more bells we don't see that down here up north always saw that more ornaments we've got snowflakes red and gold swirlies more candy canes hollies and berries what else is in here look at that visit from santa claus oh my gosh big the houses here we've got some of the matching trees more ornaments I see a lot of greenery. Here's the actual trees. And they're dimensional too, if you can see that. Love it. Here's some of the gold leaves. More round ornaments. Colored ornaments. Oh my gosh. I think, feel like I'm going to be here all day. A lot of the holly trees. Oh, here we've got even little stockings. Double snowflakes. Pink ornaments. Oh my gosh. There's just a ridiculous amount in here really $36 for that okay I'm gonna go see if they have another one of those because that is just crazy to me crazy good um next thing talking about the flourishes uh, this is another one that I just kind of went crazy for now a lot of people I saw already had some of the flourish sets so this is two sets and I'm telling you it was like $65 is that right I don't know who else got it and I just thought, holy cow, that's a lot of money for two sets. But I love them. I feel like this is like the bracelet you would put on. Like that final extra pin or bracelet or, you know, that extra little something when you're getting dressed to make it beautiful. So I'll show you this. Let me show you here. And they, I mean, it is a big set, but still... Um, here is some of the, you know, you can see some of the samples. You can see some of the samples here. Aren't they pretty? Here we can see them all together. So again, Fleur's Dye Bundle. So obviously they put it together for, um, for HSN. And I, these I just cut out of white. It's actually Centura Pearl from, um, the white pearl from Crafter's Companion. So it's like. 250 gsm i think something like that but they're beautiful they're just so pretty you can't see the shine i'm thinking at this point but i'm just going to kind of show you all these different like gorgeous i just think like look at the size of that it's huge and i love it i'm going to show you all of these because they just came out so pretty and i love them and i'm glad and it was ridiculously over priced in my mind but i couldn't help myself i shouldn't say overpriced but i just feel like this is something that i'll use over and over and over like look at that over and over and over again like how simple and elegant these are and i just bought at hobby lobby it looks almost exactly like this um speaking of which i'll probably do in the next couple a um, haul from hobby lobby they're doing their clearance sale get over there <laughs> but they had a uh, what do you call it? The wax stamp and it's like almost exactly that kind of pattern for like three dollars the seal wax seal Here we have another one. Look at that. 
I mean, look at how beautiful these are to just put on the side of anything. Okay, so let's put that away. But that was another, and I feel like these are, some of these things have been a little splurgy for me. And that's why I'm saying I went a little crazy. But did anybody else go crazy? What did everybody else get? Because, you know, I'm telling you, I feel like I lost my mind there. Okay, this was, okay, this was another one that was the clearance. These are just the holiday envelope liners, and they were like $10, $11, and there's 48 of them. And then they kind of coordinate with what you're doing. So I just love it. And I, I have to say, but the only time I buy them is when they're marked down like that. So that was another really good one. Um, let me show you these. These were and are their cartouche cut and emboss, and they have little stickers you can buy. Okay, you'd have to buy separately, but the cut and emboss folders. So what it does is it makes the little round part and then you buy the little stickers, which I have somewhere and honestly, I don't know where I put them. I bought them, I sorting through stuff, I don't know where I put them. Um, so I can't show you them inside, but it's not, I mean, look, I don't know how close that is. So what I wanted to show you, and, and another thing is make sure you put your paper Okay, I put the paper, a piece of wax paper, fold over, and then through your, or whichever way you would go, into your Empress. Because, I don't know, just so you know, that's how it cuts. Otherwise, you're going to deboss them. So, the metal down into the paper. Okay, so there is four of these. Now, I was going to show you. Here is the four different patterns. Let me see which one is which. This is the... Okay, I can see holly leaves on there. So, which color? I tried to cut each one in different colors so that I could see. No, nope, that's not that. I think it's this one. Yes, here we go. Okay, so this one. This one is the little trees. You can see that. Look at these little trees on there. Um, this one has... Kind of like the holly and the berries and i was like oh i would love to do little tiny red gems on there somewhere and same thing so aren't those that's those three okay the next one let me see what this is i'm trying to see which ones i colored on these this got to be these right yep um now this is the cheaper thinner uh hobby lobby michaels kind of Foil, you can see but I wanted to see because I, I love this dark green if it would emboss as deeply because Anna Griffin's paper is slightly thicker so I think you do get a little bit deeper um, emboss on there you could just put an extra maybe an extra shim in there extra wax paper I'm not sure but it still came out I thought they look beautiful so we have the Christmas trees on that one here we have the holly leaves on this one I'm hoping these can be seen and here we have these I think are supposed to be like little poinsettias unfortunately now on my cheap paper if you look you can see that's not the wax it's like the paper I think it's like the paper cracked or it's the wax but I couldn't really tell and I thought oh maybe it's the wax I don't know but uh, the wax paper that goes on top of it. But it only happened with using the um, the cheap foil paper. But still, no one's really going to notice. And that is gorgeous. The next one, and this is the four pack. They, she also sells a three pack, which I do have. But not showing that today because that's not what we're talking about. This one is, here, where is this? The purple one I think I did. Let me see. Yes. Is that right? Yes. So we have this beautiful pattern. Look at that. So these would be like your everyday. Tell me that is not like gorgeous for flowers, sunflower, sunshine. And then here, here we go with this one. I just think those are absolutely beautiful. That's one of the everydays. And here's the other everyday. And the size of them is just really, I mean, you, I don't know if you can tell, but these are really nice three packs. I think they're a little bit smaller. It's like three on a three by or three on a four by six, where this is three on a five by seven. So these are a little bit larger, but the stickers are great and they're sized for it, and they are just beautiful. So that's and you know what I thought? I was trying to figure out. Gosh, look at this! Is so how cool the wax paper came out that came out of these. And I'm like, oh my gosh! Even even the wax paper I thought looked 
really, really neat. Thought, oh, somebody's probably clever and can figure out a way to do something with that. But anyway, okay, so we have that's the next item, and these I think are still available. I think, and it was only like forty-two dollars. Anything I have. Um, anything that's available still I'll put down in the description if you click the more and there'll be links on there so if that's something you want you know you can easily go after that okay Next, this was her anniversary paper crafting collection because it's now 30 years of Anna Griffin so she did this beautiful beautiful collection and again I I just went and bought so many scrapbooks I I need to start printing papers <laughs> or printing photos in a big time way. And I have a couple different, I have two different really good photo printers at home. Plus I just brought, oh my gosh, I love it. It's um, where you scan the photos in and you can do it, the 4x6s or 5x7 in a batch. So you can put a stack of photos and it scans it all in, makes it digital. That way I can throw out a lot of the other ones. Um, and that is another, that episode is awesome. So I'll put that in the link too. And if you are trying to get rid of, like eliminate a lot of the extra photos, but you don't really want to give them up, that is the next one thing to do. Okay. So this one has, let's see, 24 of the 12 by 12. I'm sure it's 24, five by seven. I can't read without my glasses. 90 embellishments, 24 centimeters. So pretty much the exact same. Oops, let's move that out of the way. Pretty much the exact same as the kit. This, I sorry, I can't remember the exact pricing. Let me just kind of flip it. Look at these are some of the, her favorites and things from the early days. I would love to say I used to do. Did anybody else collect in her early early days? And I think this was still QVC where she did the whole scrapbook kit. And some of the pages were pre-done and then she gave you extra ephemera to put on that. I still have those. I love them. They are gorgeous. Please, Anna, bring them back. So if anyone else did that, let me know. So here we go. Single-sided on these. Like, And I'm telling you, I remember some of these papers. Look how beautiful this is. Okay, here we go. We're just going to flip through these quickly. That's just so pretty. Simple, beautiful. I'm like, I like these, I remember these. So I don't know, probably many of you do as well. So I said, this is kind of like all Anna Griffin. I just lost my mind and bought it all. I don't know. I bet there's, I bet there's Griffinites out there who have everything she's ever made. I'm not one of them. Look at that. Ugh, those are beautiful. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Okay. So we have this in the 12 by 12 we have it in the 5 by 7 and then all these beautiful flowers now i don't know i'm not going to pull them all out because i don't know which sets these are from they probably went to specific obviously could match it up on the papers but i don't know what all of these were called but oh my gosh gorgeous okay like see i mean that's obvious because you saw where's the paper right that makes it easy for me to say, wow, that's just beautiful that they are all coordinated like that. Again, I'd love to see more of these. Another one. Look at all these. There's, so, there's just so many in each and every one of them. And I kind of love that they're all coordinated. I know I'm saying that word, love, 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 because they're just wonderful. And they're beautiful and elegant. And here we have our sentiments, which are quite the assortment. Let's see. They always are. I like that pink and gold. Good luck. Let's see. With gratitude. Isn't that pretty? Happy birthday. So nice and big too. Thank you very much. Sending birthday greetings. Sending you my thanks. Many birthday wishes. These are really pretty. On this important day. Heartfelt sympathy. I wish we could get a whole stack of just these. Um, thank you. Thinking of you, friend. Let's see. These are the same ones. Let me see. Are any of these, some of these, a couple different. With deepest sympathy, happy birthday to you. And I think that's it. The other ones are doubles of those same ones. Okay, so I'm just going to put this in here for now. And get that out of the way. As we're her new inks. Okay, so these are supposed to be hybrid inks. Currently, the, there are no refills. These are one and done. They're supposed to match the perfect palette 
Um, I have not even opened these yet. I'm going to take them out and get some of the perfect palette um, paper and we'll get some daubers and we'll give it a play. But I just wanted you to see Dusty Lavender, Robin's Egg Blue, Petal Pink. So obviously it's going to come out later than this. Sage Green. Let's see. What color is that? Very Navy, which I really like that. And Warm Gray. So I'm really excited. If these are um, anyway good, decent, whatever, I hope they'll last, you know, and they'll work. And I want to try them with embossing. So that'll be another one we're going to try and do together. And if you're liking this, please feel free to subscribe. Let me know in the comments what you guys have been getting or what you would like to see. Last but not least, and you've probably all seen this, seems like a Christmas gift, is the Gorgeous Shoe Dies. Oh my gosh, I love it. <laughs> I just went and bought some absolutely gorgeous, and I will show you in that next haul video, actual real gems, not the paper kind, at such a deal and um oh my gosh i can't wait to make these so we're gonna do again i'll do some of those too because i feel like i keep getting requests to do little videos that actually make these items not and show the make so i'm going to try and do more of that along with just the other tips because i love seeing like i was it's a beautiful ribbon that looks like a ballet pink doesn't it We've got, and these are obviously slimline. This is the auto ship, or you could have gotten this one off. Beautiful, okay, for ivory paper. Let's look at papers first. So we have, is this, I wonder if it's all gold foil, or did she give us other colors as well? I haven't, again, haven't even opened it to know. Let's just peel that back a bit. So we have gold and silver, okay. Here we've got, oh, this is the vellum. Now, I will say I've read a couple people's comments on Facebook, and they said the vellum was a little hard. They found it easier to use regular um, paper, but I'm going to try it with both ribbon, vellum, and we'll see. I also have some other materials that I want to try on this. Oh, my gosh. Again, you'll see it in that next haul. <laughs> so look at these beautiful papers for it. Double-sided. Beautiful. Look at them. Although, I... I don't even, oh my gosh, look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Beautiful. I can't, I can never, do, like, I probably wouldn't use that side because it's just busier unless I cover up, oh, well, you'll see the dye in a minute. You can kind of cover them up a little bit. Oh, that's just gorgeous. Okay. Here we've got, again, look, here's our bases. Can you see? I'm not going to. Well, when I do, when I really show you, when we do a tutorial, we'll pull this all out. And our pretty little shoe, oh my gosh. Here, we have to just look at the inspo sheet, just because it's so pretty. Okay, so look at that. I mean, it does, it is really big. I think they're also going to have, um, yeah, it's eight and three quarters. That's big. There's also going to be sneakers, which, eh, I, you know, I think I'm going to skip that one. I don't know that I would use it. The wingtip shoes for the men, definitely want that. So look at how pretty these are. I feel like you probably need to see it almost this way, you know, so you can see that. And I've seen a few people posting photos where they did the shoe and the matching purse. And it's funny because that was the first thing that I thought of. Oh my gosh, I can make the purse as a little gift bag and the shoe as the card. How amazing is that to give to someone really special? So that's it. That is what we've got today. Thank you so much for popping by. I really do appreciate it. And I hope to see you back here again very soon. Bye for now.